Oh, Rob. Yeah, mate. I've got the job card for that black club sport. Yep. Um, there it is. No worries. What are we doing with that? It's a full thing. Supercharger, head and cam, clutch, fuel system. Hobby. Okay, we got all the parts for that? All the parts are here. Oh, beautiful. All right. Um, and uh, Don't forget to do the before run. Oh, right. Yeah, no worries. All right. I've got the XR8 on the dyno at the moment, so as soon as I get that done, I'll get that um, before run. Um, all right. No worries, mate. Right, Talk cheers. to you later. How are you going with this? Nah, it's all good, it's all good. E everything I need you to do is done? Everything's done except the line locker. Okay, cool, because you know what I want to do a wussy burnout, summon hats. The only thing that would make you do a wussy burnout is you, Robbie. Come on, Marty, you know, there's a lot of people, uh, you know, already giving me a fair bit of stick about it, so uh, I don't want to be blaming you because I've got enough power or something's not right. Nah, the car's going to have plenty of power and it's going to be reliable, and the only thing that's going to stop you doing a good burnout is you. All We've right. seen you do burnouts before and they're not that good, you know. <laughs> Now, um, there's a VZ out in the car park there. Can you get a before run done on that as soon as you get this off? No worries. All right, mate. I'll do that in a minute. Hey, uh, Robbie, can we take it out and do a bit of a skid in the street before do this test it out? responsible, Marty. Oh, come on. Wuss. What I've got here is my little secret weapon that I've had the boys fit. This is what's commonly known as a line lock. Basically, it's an electronic solenoid that um, stops the brake fluid travelling down the line and activating the rear brake. So by simply pushing a button on the dash, it operates that solenoid. I put my foot on the brake pedal and only the front brakes actually are activated. Obviously that's gonna help me a lot when I'm trying to do a burnout because I don't have the resistance of the back brakes trying to slow the wheels down. And the other thing is that I can go along and hit the brakes um, and only be controlling the front brakes, which helps me with steering in that. So um, don't tell anyone, but this is my little secret the boys um, have fitted on there and I reckon that might make all the difference just to make in the finals. We'll see. Okay, we've got our BAXR8 ute here on the dyno getting all set up for Summonats. Now the main objective to this year at Summonats is to go out there and have some fun. We've got Robbie going to drive this thing in the burnout comp. Hopefully he's not a big wuss and he does a decent sort of job. But what, what I'm trying to do here now is set this car up so it's nice and safe so it's not going to hurt it while he's doing it. Uh, we're going to put some good fuel in it. We're going to pull a little bit of boost out of it from what we've been running in the past. We're going to turn on the fans so they run continuously regardless of speed or anything else. Even when the engine's cold, we'll have the fans running uh, and get it all good, safe. And still, it still makes plenty of power. I'm not going to have any problem with doing a good burnout. So if there is a poor burnout, it's all Robbie, not the car. All right, what we're doing is uh, in the past, the only options for tuning the Fords have been the Kappa flash box. And that's in the past what we've been using here. It's one of these, so basically we can put three programs into this. You can have a performance program, an economy program, and a valet program, for example. Uh, and now that there's been a new product that's just been released, which uh, we're giving a try on this car now, uh, basically what this enables us to do is flash directly to the car. Uh, instead of having to flash the box and then the box flash the car, with this new software we can directly flash straight into the car. It's got its own logger for enabling us to, to log all the engine parameters and make sure everything's doing what it's supposed to be doing. And uh, the layout is much easier and nicer for us to use so we can find our way around what we're trying to do, what we're trying to find, much quicker and much easier. I think we're just about set now to uh, give it one last run and then uh, we're set to go up to some minutes and have some fun.
last of the um, supercharger kit just unpacked. Eight rib pulley kit. As you can see, it comes pretty, uh, pretty complete and very spiffy looking. Front mounted heat exchanger kit with its own reservoir. Even a uh, nice little logo sticker there when you're showing your mates. Plumbing kit, 2.3 litre blower, which is the big daddy. Comes already complete with the larger injectors already fitted. Um, as opposed to most blowers, this one runs the shaft underneath and drives at the back. So, just a bit different. Looks nice. Um, intake, a couple of bracketries, and a different belly plate with countersunk holes, just to make it a little bit easier for me so I don't have to go machining up the one that's already on there. And that's it. Hi, I'm Rob Vickery. Here at the Horsepower Factory, we not only like our cars to perform well on the dyno and at the track, we like them to look good too. That's why we use and recommend Voodoo Ride. It's not magic, it's Voodoo Ride. <laughs>